that? Right. Thank you. Hello, this is the Historical Commission meeting for April 9, a lovely rainy Tuesday evening. This is the history of the day. It's a rainy day. Excellent. Rainy day in Dudley. Uh, we have no minutes from the April meeting yet, so scratch that off your agenda. We have no financial update. So we don't have to deal with that. We can move into um, what's going to be the rest of a very short meeting. Uh, progress on the historic district. I have received word from our consultant that the Mass Historical Commission requested from him maybe um, a couple of weeks ago some further edits which he turned around in one day. That's how minor they were. And he sent them back. Now, the good news is that they haven't lost our paperwork. <laughs> His life somewhere. Yeah. However, um, there have been a lot of changes at Mass Historic, and uh, it sounds like they're more confused than they always been so I don't know what it means for us I I don't see anything soon I looked at future uh, agendas online and I don't see anything indicating that they're even you know, thinking about us but one never knows if they've got these edits back and they can make them quickly maybe they'll just suddenly put them in the pipeline I don't know we sit this and you, wait this is by what you're saying, these changes were really minute, according to Tim. Yeah. Two years? Well, we've been sitting on it a year. They've had it a year on their desk. Okay. The last last uh, correspondence I had from them was last May. Okay. So, who knows? Anyway, that's that's the update. So well, good. There's, there's a sign of life then. Yeah. Um, I also know that I, I've, I've been talking to somebody that has some graphic background and um, she's going to give me some ideas on putting up a walking tour and, and she's now freed up from other, some other constraints that she had so we're going to try and get, get at that. I would hope to have something we can see um, maybe by next, the next meeting because I would love to have a printed brochure ready for the Strawberry Festival. That's my, that's my goal. I figure it's a good time to get it out there. But we'll, we'll see how fast that, that works, too. Who's that, just going to be bouncing around the hill? Or? It'll be a, it'll be a, yeah, a one-pager. you kind of open it up, two, three panels. And, and it'll tell you, you're standing here, you're looking at this, this is next to you, that's over there. Just so somebody could walk on their own and get a sense of what's up in, in what will be the district. Yeah. It'll be fine. All right, any other questions on that? Good. That's good. Um, nothing exciting happening with the Tercentennial Committee yet? Because there is no Tercentennial Committee yet. Well, uh, we'll, never, we'll never live to see it. That's, that's well, no, I don't news know flash. You, you never know, Mike. They could roll us out there in time. Um, <coughs> but I'm thinking I w we should just name a subcommittee of this, of the commission, uh, to work on it. And I'll bring that proposal forward next month. And can you can you take it to the elementary school? They could, <laughs> you know, appoint no. some kids that are about ten years old, or you know, because no. there are some items that are going to take. I thought long. you brought it to someone's attention already. Were you on the front? Well, page? I did. I did meet with the town administrator, and we discussed whether it should go to the selectmen. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I thought. Uh, I was so. So <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I thought. Wait a minute. Let's not make it more difficult than it is. I think if we start as a subcommittee and get some people to look at it and then they can decide how they would like to, to move the thing forward. Um, I don't think it should, we should be wrapped up in it any more than we're the birthing 
people uh, and get it going and then you could have a two centennial seance <laughs> we they could consult with us I don't know what it's going to be I'm like. not going to be available for that I'll be otherwise engaged <laughs> <laughs> right no one's going to be able to contact me <laughs> I don't know where where we get you Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, the address is, is questionable, I think. North or South? <laughs> All right, so um, let me tell you about what do we got? Preservation projects, nothing specific going on. I am going to be checking with the town clerk to make sure that. Um, we don't miss out on any opportunities to use up funds before the end of the year if we have some scheduled for preservation. But most of those, I think, are moved into accounts that continue on for us and don't, don't disappear. I did, want to make did, sure. did she send anything out with funds from the donor for preservation? Did she? Oh, has she sent any documents? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure, so I'm, I want to check with her. Yeah. Okay. We've got to wrap that up because she'll be leaving, and I'm, I need to know how clean the, the handoff will be to the next um, town clerk. Well, theoretically, it has to be by next fall town meeting when more money will be coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, we'll be, we'll be okay moving, moving forward asking for money on that, on that regular basis, but we probably have it. I want to know how much is in there now. Uh, what's waiting to be preserved and how quickly we can get that going yeah. and get it all tied up. I mean, you know, poor Aura's, I'm sure, looking at that clock swinging down now, like, <laughs> got to get this done and that done and that done. Um, and I think we'll ask her to join our commission. I think she'd be a great asset for us. So. Oh, don't tell anybody. Don't, don't, don't tell her. <laughs> Too late. Don't scare her. Then she'll see me coming. She'll go, hey, go away. I'll be quite surprised if she goes over there. I don't think she will. I don't know. I think, I think she wants out of here. No, no, no. She, she loves us, Michael. And this is easy, you know. All right. Um, we will have a demolition public hearing next meeting, which is going to be, I gotta look it up. Anybody got a calendar? Everybody get your calendars. Look at this. Everything's tech. Quickly. Hey, no. Not me. It's going to be May 14. You're right. <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Beat you to it. See? Uh -huh. May 14th and uh, it's for the demolition of a, uh, a shed. And I've already been by it to take a quick look at it, um, but there was no way we could get it on this agenda because it just came up a few days ago. Where is it? So we'll do that one. Where is it? I, it is on the east side of Pierpont I'm trying to think of the name. So, not so. Bonnyview? Pardon? Bonnyview? Not Bonnyview. Yeah, Bonnyview comes down. down and then there's that other it's, it's the other one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Klondike. Klondike. Peanut Gallery responds. I love that. We're all in it tonight. Does it, does it have a numero? Uh, it does. If you. I suppose I could have just read the thing. Yeah. 167, Mike. Klondike Road. That's, that's down towards the uh, Charlton end of it, isn't it? No. Huh? If you come down Bonnie View, it's a left. You put down by Chet's? You're down Chet's? Yeah. And then left. Yeah, left. Left. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, actually, it looked like a nice building to me. But you know how it is. Some people don't. Is it all the way down, or is it the dead end, or is it before that? No, before the dead end. On the right hand side. I should have taken the picture for you. <laughs> I can't. 
houses. Oh, those are nice houses down there. Oh, it's a nice. Nice there are nice houses and it's a nice shed, but uh, they must have an other use they want to use. I, we'll have them here. We'll grill them when they get here. Yeah. But oh, the bylaw right. is the bylaw. We have that's to. That's right. It's just a shed. We have to post it and uh, have the public hearing and, and resolve it, and we will. Maybe we should on May 14th. Maybe we should send it to Nelson too. Yep, that's where it comes from. Oh. Okay, you're really feisty tonight. Like, I don't know what we're going to do. Right here. Um, other business, not known. Announcements. Yes, I have one. The Black Tavern program this the month of May, uh, April, April 18, at seven o'clock at the tavern on Center Road in Dudley, will be all about the AO. I have to be very careful about how we say that. Us old Dudley natives. Mm -hmm. It's not the hey ho. It's the AO, um, and its influence on the economy and and the world and whatever. Uh, Dick Whitney, who runs the uh, operation over there. Have you been by it? Have been no, I've been on his website though. Yeah. Oh. Wonderful website. Oh, he has a website? Yep. Oh, so people should go look Dick at it. Whitney, I don't know, it's Dick Whitney, I don't know, stickwhitney.com or dickwhitney.net. Okay, good. He, co he really covers the uh, 55 foot in depth. All right, interesting. All right, well, he'll be doing the presentation. Um, if you're going up to the tavern for this event, folks, Forewarned, be early. <laughs> Don't wait till 10 minutes to 7 to roll in because the seating. seating will be gone big time. We have had uh, extremely good turnouts up there. Uh, I have yet in the last year to have room to be able to go in and sit down and watch any of these. I usually hear them in the kitchen. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's great that there's good turnout. It's just that we could certainly use a bigger room up there. May June, go in the barn. Bleachers, whatever. Pop up, <laughs> pop up the room. Open the windows and put seating on the porch. Yeah, we've done one with the windows open. When when the weather is okay, it's not so bad. People just lean in. Yeah. All right, member concerns. What's the story on the rehab of the Jericho Brandon Road section? Of the what? It's, it was called the Brandon Road, uh, I mean, the Jericho slash Brandon Road District. There's, there's going to be know. some kind of rehab going on there. I saw that listed and I didn't, I couldn't compute the two things. Jericho, does does Jericho doesn't compute with Brandon Road. No, I didn't no, know if they but just it's, it's coming across, I guess it's coming down Schofield Avenue and going... Well, Schofield Ave, I could see. And then uh, Village the Street, link. Mill Street. Uh, what did, what's going on? See, there was some kind of a project. It was Re it's called the Rehab. Yeah. Was I just it? wondered if there was any, if anybody knew anything about it. I didn't know anything about it, but I did read it. And I said, how does that go together, you know? No, I thought it was changed too. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're up to. I assume they're just looking for funds to do road work and whatever, but I don't know. No, okay. no idea. People out there will start calling us. We'll have them call Mike. Good. <laughs> Why don't you make his phone number available to the public? No, no, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, any other questions? Hearing none, I am waiting. Move to adjourn. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. We're out of here. Thank you, folks.